now time for plus two seven five, and it's the Aquitia constituency uh, in the Denchambwa district. Next. So for the people of Akutia, mining used to be the main thing for them, but it's no longer as it used to. They also complain about terrible roads. So what do their MPs have for them? A constituency that is considered to be a hotspot or a flashpoint. Also from 1992 to 96, 2000, NDC had it. Then the NPP came in. The NDC have the seat currently and the incumbent MP has joined us in the studio. Baba Jamal, good morning to you. Welcome to the show. Also the Deputy Minister for Employment and Labour Relations. Uh, his other contenders, we have the NPP. I must say, unfortunately, she couldn't make it to the studio. But we have the PPP uh, contender with us also in the studio, Stephen Ofori. Stephen, good morning to you and welcome to the show. All right, so before we start, we give each candidate two minutes to introduce themselves and tell the uh, Ghanaians or their constituents why they are the better candidate. So I'll give you the opportunity to start, Baba Jamal, and that will be your camera. In two minutes, describe, just tell us a bit about yourself. My name is uh, Baba Jamal. I born and bred an indigenous of Akwetia. I have been in the political scene since 2000. I have served in uh, Akwetia with all my heart. Currently, I am the MP and the incumbent. Akwetia people who bear testimony to the fact that since I took over as the MP, there had been tremendous improvement in our situation in Akwetia. Yes, our rules are bad, but as I talk to you now, there are contractors on the road constructing the road. For the first time in the history of Akwetia, within a matter of three years, we have done over 100 physical projects. Over 100 physical projects. Secondary schools, two secondary schools are coming up. They, we have a new uh, ultra-modern uh, uh, assembly facility, talk about uh, chip centers, talk about uh, schools and uh, uh, roads constructed, roads that I've never seen construction before for the first time I've seen construction. And all these are happening in Akwetia and or the Denchambo as a district. I know my people know what is happening on the ground, as we go on, we'll give the details of what is happening there. But I can assure you that we are on the right course. And inshallah, Allah will take us to where we want to go. All right, thank you very much. Also for you as well, Stephen, uh, in two minutes, you're a very young candidate and, uh, uh, on the PPP ticket. So tell Ghanaians who you are and why you decided to do this, to contest the Akwetia constituency. Thank you very much, my sister. But before that, let me say good morning to my constituents especially to our dedicated and hard-working constituency executives. My name is Steven Ofori, okay. a teacher at Salvation Army Senior High, which is in the constituency. I happen to be an old student and also a teacher there. You see, Akotia constituency should have been the most peaceful and beautiful constituency in the country. But let's ask ourselves, is it true? The answer is no. All because of some disappointed members of parliament we have been voting for. So, so in this regard, the constituency, there are some areas this, the constituency lack. And I have to come in as early as possible to help solve these problems. Okay. One is, low level of education, two, illegal mining, land degradation, as well as pollution of water bodies, okay. and also inadequate employment for the youth. Because the only company in the constituency in which we can use to boast, the GCD, has collapsed under uh, the leadership of some so-called political parties. Okay. So if I'm voted as an MP for the constituency, these are some of the things I'm going to help solve. 
All right. So I, well, I, I like to get a bit personal. And I remember last year you made a donation to the NPP constituency. Uh, it was a computer that you gave them. And I remember Gabi Otridaku spoke against it and even asked that the computer be redonated. What's the, what went into the decision to donate to your opponent? I am not an MP for Akwetia, uh, NDC people alone. I have positioned myself as an MP for the entire constituency. When you come to the constituency, they will testify to the fact that anything I do, in fact, my, one of my difficult towns, the town that I used to get, uh, I perform lowly, is Wenchi, exactly where my brother is coming from. Today, I have changed the face of that town. When you go there, you see the entrance to the, the town, beautiful road being constructed into the town, gutters springing up for the first time in the whole of that town, and raising the image of that town. When you go to a place like a Genesee, which is also my worst place. If you can stay on the computer. No, no, I'm, come, I'm just telling okay. you that it is not only computers okay. that I have done. Okay. I have done other things to places that people don't even expect me to do things. The computer came out of very kind and clear mind to say that all the uh, parties that are in Akwetia, the most vibrant ones are NDC, MPP, and later PPP. Now, if the office work, every political party, I have been the Deputy General Secretary before of NDC, sure. and so I know what goes into administration. And I know one of their difficult things is that they always have uh, to print things, type things, and all these things. So I decided to donate a computer, not only a computer, a computer and its accessories, and a brand new multi-purpose uh, printer to help them do their work in the office. When I went there, they accepted me. They were very happy. We came out and took pictures. There was no problem until Gabby and the original executive started meddling in it. When I went there, they received me. We sat there for more than two hours. For the first time in the history of Akwete, I'm the only MP who goes to every community and sit down and say, ask me what you want to ask me. There's no community I have not touched in my constituency. No community. I okay. have more than 120 communities. But there was suspicion that maybe, uh, of, of course, they are your political opponents. I'm not suggesting that you have to hate your political opponent, but there was a suggestion that maybe you put something in there that, but could, they have uh, computer that could get uh, information from But them. they have you computer experts. They could have just gone through the system. They could have dismantled and looked through what, what is there. In any case, where I bought it, everything, I had donated everything to them, including whatever is involved there. So if they think that they have any suspicion, they could have looked at it and, and, and do what they want to do. Or they could have even taken it somewhere else. But you see, the create, to create the impression, this is what, you see, Akwetia has always been peaceful. It is people from outside that middle in our politics that make it difficult. Like what, this is a clear example. When I went, I met with all the executives. In fact, I went to their office. I, sa I sat in the MPP office for two hours. I had a friendly discussion with them, and they were very, very happy. They asked me all the questions that they want to ask, okay. and I answered them. And after that, I said, look, I have this computer for you. I, I even added cash donation for, to refresh the people. We came out, all of them, the, the, the executive, we came and took pictures in front of their office. Only for us to go, and then the next thing I heard that Ochidako is on uh, radio saying that that is not correct. The original executives are talking. In fact, one of the original executives have to move from Kufo. They have to come and say that they, they redonated because the people didn't want to do it. But they insisted they should redonate it. So it was redonated. Well, it was redonated. But, uh, you know, in fact, they redonated it to an orphanage. But you see, at least I have shown that in Ghana, oh. we can do civil politics. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. To Please. you as well. I want to come uh, ask you a very personal question as I did with him that uh, what have you done? What do you what have you dedicated to the town that makes you think that uh, well the people are yearning for me and it's time to now do it on a national level. Be before that. Okay. Can I react to what my honorable minister said? You have 2 minutes so okay. you can use part to do. I don't know if my honorable minister here is trying to please those of us here, or he's trying to say something to convince us. Because upon all the MPs that Kotia Kotia 20 have had since 1992, I can tell you that Honor Baba Jama has been the most luckiest MP among them. But he is the most, excuse me to say, disappointed member of parliament you have ever had. How? Yes, because, please, I'm coming. Okay. Before he became 
uh, an MP. He was a deputy regional minister. Okay. So we were expecting something from him, but we didn't get it. So we thought, oh no, that's not enough. Why don't we give this man a chance? What because is your message? I, I'm interested in what you have to offer. You can do the rebuttals oh, oh yes. when we get into the issues. What okay. is your message? What, what are you offering, Alkitia? If, as a, a teacher, and with the little salary I've been receiving every month, okay. I can tell you that with this salary, I've been able to sponsor some students, not only students, but people to establish them. And the other time I went to Akwetia, and to be honest with you, I was very sad that a big city like Akwetia can never boast of an internationally recognized bank. So through my lobbying skills and my connections and contact with the, our political uh, our party, I've been able to establish a GN bank. And as I'm talking, the Honorable Bajama is even having an account there. It belongs so, to your party flag bearer. Oh, yes. Okay. It was through my lobbying skills and some connections. That's why the bank is there. So I think that the people of Akwetia constituency, especially the youth, we are fed up with them. Okay. That's why they said this time we are not going to give them any chance. They are deceiving us. Okay. So they are bringing in somebody who is, who is more uh, knowledgeable, who is energetic, who is versatile, and is no other person than Stephen Nanaya Ufuri, a.k.a. Akati. Okay, all right. So, and, and can I, I haven't finished I was well, reacting to. It's time. Okay. It's time. Okay. okay, it's time. But write your thoughts down. No I'll problem. I'll come back to you. No I'll come back to you. No Let's, yes. I have no uh, uh, bank account in GN. I no don't. problem. I don't. But is it, but is it is a good thing? But is it there? Of course, the GN bank is a good Thank thing. Thank you. I, we appreciate and have always supported any initiative that okay. we take a good effort. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. You see, when you say... In could, 30 seconds to do In 30 this. seconds. Oh, what I want him to understand is that if I've been able to bring a district to Akwetia, establish a national health insurance office in Akwetia, which I registered over 2,000 people free of charge, I brought two secondary schools to Akwetia, roads all over the place, schools all over the place, chief centers all over, in his own town, Rose and gutters in his own time, a, a story building stores built in his town. Right. If this is disappointing, I'm wondering what, what he wants the expense of an MP. To, to the substantive issues now, and uh, unemployment is such a big issue. And you know, when I was digging up on it, I mean, diamonds, you know, used to be, and I, I think I read about that about $100 million or so worth of diamonds have actually come from the place. And then uh, the water bodies are destroyed. What is your own plan? of addressing the issue of unemployment in Akwitia. Stephen. Thank you, madam. And it's two minutes, please. Whether we like it or not, Galamsi is the source of living, not only for the, the people in Akwitia constituency, but the whole Ghana. So coming from a mining community, I can say that an opportunity exists for the youth especially to go into small scale mining backed by law. So I will encourage the youth to go into small scale mining, which has legal backing, so that they will be free and encouraged to do their work without any intimidation. Okay. And also, with uh, special attention paid to vocational and technical institutions, there, I can say that an it will create an opportunity for the youth to also go and set up vocations of their own, so that instead of becoming dependent on the government, they can depend on themselves. And also, talking about uh, unemployment. One, is, one minute more, go ahead. Uh, uh, we have uh, a saying, is it? Now, why we cut up no? Because to buy a cry, you need Okay. You know my political, uh, the party I'm in, mm -hmm. Dr. Indum. Mm -hmm. You see, if I'm given the power as an MP for a quota constituency, I will make sure that the only company, which is GCD, will be revamped. And this time, it's not going to be like revamp today, then tomorrow closes. No, we will do it and do it better and make sure that the Akwetia, uh, GCD will come once and for any to stay forever. All right. Uh, what, what's, what's the plan? What have you done? Because we actually did constituency link in your constituency. Yeah. And the people complained about the issue of unemployment, that you haven't been able to help them. You haven't actually not been able to do anything for them. It's, it's a national, unemployment is a national problem. It's not a problem for only Akwetia. In fact, when you talk about level of unemployment in Akwetia, it's even lower than other places. Because at least majority of the youth are involved in the day-to-day uh, diamond uh, business. All of us, as young people, we started with that. So when you come to Akwetia, unemployment is very, very low, and that is a fact, it's not compared to other places. But the only problem that we have is the main GCD company 
that is not functioning the way we want to do it. The government divested it. Unfortunately, the private uh, man who took who the private uh, company that took over has not performed up to satisfaction. One minute. That is a, that is a, a, a problem. But to solve the uh, unemployment problem, like I said, we in Aquitia, we all I always advocate for legal mining, small scale or big scale or whatever. We need to give them some backing, legal backing. And I have been involved in ensuring that a lot, lot, lot of people, both NDC, MPP, whoever, they will all testify to the fact that I've been very supportive, supportive and ensured that they have legal backing for their work. And a lot of the youth have been employed. Seconds. There may be some few people who are not employed. Of course, you can never achieve full employment, not even in the developed countries. Definitely, there will be some people who are not employed. But when you have your major company, which is the backbone of the economy, suffering, then surely your economy is likely to have some, some problem. And that is exactly what we are facing. Okay. All right. But I'm going to give you another opportunity, same or on that same, but a quick follow-up on it. So what uh, will you be able to use your influence as an MP to help alleviate that? I have already started that. I called a meeting of all stakeholders last year in GCD. European club to ensure that something is done about that company. All the chiefs attended. The company, the, the board chairman himself was there. We took a strategy. As I talk to you now, a lot of uh, things are starting to change, even though it's very slow, but it's starting to change. As uh, the, the, the MP, they have also en ensured that there are certain things that they, are, they want to do to people there, for example, sacking them from rooms and electricity or whatever. I have already discussed with them that those things cannot be allowed until you are sure that you can give the people an alternative in terms of their livelihood. So those things are being done. But you see, when it's a national asset, there's very little you can do as an MP because it is something that's for government. I, as an individual, cannot go and force them to do what they cannot do. It may be against the contract they signed with the government. So I have already also drawn the attention of uh, the DIC, which is the main uh, institution that deals with them, to all those uh, shortcomings that Please they need begin to, to wrap up Yes, me. I think right. that's okay. For, 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 for you as well, I gave him another bite, you know, on the issue of unemployment, and he says he has a plan that will roll out. Do you want to ride on the success of Dr. Papa Kwesi Indu to do that? Have you shared this vision with anyone in your constituency? I was making a point then. Sure, sure, please. go ahead, please, go ahead. I don't know. I say, I still maintain it. He's either saying something to please those of us. Because I was, I was watching this program last week when it was in a, time, a turn of um, New Jabe North. Two gentlemen came here, the incumbent and the other NDC. Okay. The incumbent showed some pictures, uh, some of the projects he has done for the constituency. And the other NDC guy also brought some pictures through his connections and something he sure. will be able to do for the constituency. So if all what my honorable uh, MP is saying is true, we want an evidence. He says that he has constructed a road to my, the my, ho my the a road to my hometown and whatever. Masa, why do you want to take credit for something you and I know very well that it was not done by you? Please. Please, I'm coming. So he's done it, but it wasn't done by him. Is that yes. what you're saying? That project he's talking about is by the chief of Wenchi, which is oh, please, honorable, please. honorable, honorable, please. Please, don't I am, lie. I'm not lying. Honorable, don't please. Lie. Don't lie. Madam. Please. The chief yes, of Quenchi. Honorable, please. Go on. Do you know something? Mm. Did the chief we, tell you this? I, I'm, I'm from that town. Did I the was chief tell you, you know for a fact? We that know. That we know. Do you know for a fact that yes. it was the chief that built the <laughs> yes, road? Yes, because there was that. <laughs> How uh, did chief build road? Uh, it's interesting. <laughs> no, explain yourself. I, I, don't worry. Explain yourself. Don't worry. I'll invite you to the Tawandi. You have to go and ask the people there for yourself. You see, I don't know why honorable always want to take a credit for that no explain why you believe I mean, so what, what the evidence you know Just because before uh, yeah. there was um the chief organized one deba and we were doing something like fun raising to help uplift the image of the okay. town all right i was there honorable baba jama came there mm -hmm. okay and to be honest with you when he started mentioning that he did it, he did it the chief and some others in the town drove him out from the place. Oh. It's true, Ma madam, you oh. can go to Wenchi and testify for oh, yourself. Please, honorable, my please. Brother, don't, don't I do respect this. you a lot. Don't do please. this. Don't do this. I was at the Deba. The chief even requested, in fact, he appealed to me to do, I want, I, I told them that the rules will be done. Then the chief said that, I should, even if I can't do the rules, I should do the goddess. Okay. 
I, of course, I lobbied the government. As I talk to you now, look at the entrance to the town. This is the entrance okay, to the town. We can just show you. Yes. Madam, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying I'm not saying that the road is not done. You understand? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Please. It was not hold done on. by him. I'm not saying uh, look, when you say him, I don't I don't consider the road. Mm -hmm. The fact is that I am the MP. Mm -hmm. The road is being done by a company called Quantabisa. Mm -hmm. okay. It starts from Oda straight through Kede to a crop home. The town roads were not part of the contract. Mm -hmm. So what I did was to lobby for those town roads entries to be added. And Wenchi was part. The chief requested this. I have been in Wenchi several times. When ever has Wenchi, anybody even asked me not to come into Wenchi. To say that the he chief drove me. How can yes. you say this? How yes. can you lie like this? Please, I'm not lying. How can you, you lie like this? That, Do you know something? When I, I went to the, 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 the festival, it's a festival. I went with an entourage. All the chiefs in the Denjambo because that place is that separate. Did you leave before the program ended? No. I left with the chief. Okay. They even hosted me okay. in their palace. So how can you come and lie like that? Madam, do you know something? I'm not going to oh, say please. anything to it. Because at the end, you please, and I please, are not please, going please. to say this person should be an MP. I'm leaving everything to the <laughs> good people of uh, Wenchi and Akotia constituency. They are watching. That yeah. if what he's saying is true. That they drove me the from end, Wenchi. 7th yeah. November. You, you all Don't see. Don't do that. Don't do all that. Right. Don't Thank do you. That. Thank you very much. But just to show you how close the race is, okay, just a quick, you know, statistics from the constituents. So we'll come back to, you know, what else they, in terms of, you know, addressing unemployment mm. or the issue of uh, the water bodies that have been destroyed. We'll get to that in a bit. But in 2004, for instance, you know, the seat was held by the NPP and uh Kinsen Akomin Kisi, he had about 52.20 percent of the road which represented 19,386 valid votes then the NPP candidate uh, Baba Jamal himself had 47.1 percent of the vote which was 17,000 fast forward he wins it by uh not by 50 percent in 2012 he got 20,471 the NPP had 49.07 percent so it was just 0.33 or 337 yeah. that that was just the difference it was under is. seven but that's why there's so much heat in that constituency see that's why i have positioned myself not to become only ndc candidate i'm a candidate for the entire constituency in fact when you look at the close look at the results i had more votes than even my party because in that the presidential the 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 the, the, the party lost yeah. but i won in the parliamentary so it definitely MP people in his own town. That was where I had the highest skirt and blouse votes from Wenchi because of what I did for them okay. and what I'll continue to do for them. Okay. And I'm saying that I have positioned myself to be MP for everybody. And that's why I went on to even donate computers, donate to schools, donate to everything. Look, I make sure that everybody is given a fair chance in Agodia. It doesn't matter wh where you are coming from. Okay. Because I know if I say I'm going to do only NDC politics, I'm not going to give a, get the chance. Okay. But I de I'm doing po national politics, Denchambo politics, to bring the people together, all the chiefs. All the chiefs in Denchambo. Just recently, I brought all the Ducros in Denchambo, 35 of them, and ensured that I, that was on my birthday. And celebrated my birthday with them. Okay. All and right. so I'm surprised so, my, my thank brother you. will. Thank you, Baba Chamal. We'll, we'll, like we'll, we'll get to it. But just so it's. So Baba Chamal actually had 20,471 votes. And the NPP candidate, uh, Kofi Asari, he had the 19,914 votes. That's how close it is. And PPP had 201 votes. So my question to you is that you had 0.50% in the election. I mean, you're talking about 50%, 49.997%. What has the PPP done in the last four years to jump from zero to 50%? Thank you, Magister. You see, the youth in Akwatia constituency, as I was saying, we are disappointed because of those people, those uh, greedy and I don't know a word to describe them because mm. of the activities. Okay, they have nothing for the constituency. All what they know, all what they have done for the constituency is giving the constituency a name. The NDC, the NDC. NDC and MPP. You see, one thing I'm even shocked about those MPP in the constituency, I'll come to them, is that they always make mistakes. Mm -hmm. And this time, one of the most unpardonable mistakes they have done, and I believe they will not forgive themselves, is by bringing that woman as their candidate to contest. What does Amma say? I'll, I'll come to that, please. Okay. Let me okay. make my point okay. after okay. that. Make your point, please. 
You see, the people, the youth especially, we are grieved because of the activities or the behavior and actions of our MPs, especially on Baba Jama. The 2012 campaign, he came to our, constitu uh, our town. I'm, I am a teacher at... Did you one? vote for him in 2012? Never. Who did you vote for in 2012? Our candidate, PPP. Okay. Yeah. Good question. Good answer. Yeah. <laughs> You see, 2012, Honor Baba Jama came to my school, Salvation Army Senior High. He made the huge promises to us right. that when, when, we ha when he's given the note, yeah. he's going to give us a, what, what, a get fund project. But let's ask him, after the election, when was the last time our uh, MP set foot in our school? He has never come there. You see, I, I've learned that he has been coming to Wenji, but he came there at night. I'm telling him, the next time I see him at night, I will toast on okay. him. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's a promise. The next time I see him in Wenji at night, is, is I will toast on him. We'll report you to the police. No problem. No problem. Is, 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 is it night, night bridges? No, it's not. That will be... Uh, but uh, you were talking about how the NPP has also failed you. Oh, yes. The, uh, by bringing Madam, the, my, looking at yes, Akotea, the state oh. of Akotea constituency now, this is no time for experimenting. We have to stop that experiment, then vote for somebody who knows and understands the problems of the people in the constituency. And there's no other person than Akate. So what I'm talking about, uh, I must say is that, mm -hmm. Madam, after I'm a teacher, I can read, I can write. And with this, with this my two bar for English, I can go to wherever I want to go. <laughs> and I bet you, I know the parliament, they don't joke there. I, when I say joke, I'm not talking about uh, the incommodious style. <laughs> yes, please, <laughs> Madam, please. You, you, you. You, I'm not, you are disturbing me. Stop that laughing. <laughs> eh? Eh? In Parliament, we don't joke there. It's okay. Please, let on Abu Bajama to continue. No. Please, I have anything to oh I'll, I'll come back to no, that no, one later. I, 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 my apologies. But no what problem. she said was, was no problem. so funny. That's it. But, but no, but I, I want to stay on you because you're making a point that you sound like a man who believes that he would lose the elections because you're saying you are disappointed in the NP because they brought a candidate you think is not qualified. As well, you're also uh, disappointed in Baba Jamal. So does that mean you yourself have accepted that you're going to lose the election? Never. Then? Because of so the why, plans. So why bother with who the NPP puts forward as a candidate? Because before I came in, we were expecting MPP because what Oona Baba Jama has been doing, has been claiming doing, yeah. and which he also he know for sure that he haven't done anything. We were expecting MPP to battle with him. Okay. We were expecting them to bring somebody who can at least battle Oona Baba Jama. What is wrong with Amase? She can't read and write. I don't know, Madam. Please, let me make my point. <laughs> <laughs> okay, mm. go ahead. So we were expecting them to bring somebody to battle Baba Jama, not in a uh, fight from no. When we saw that they, uh, they, their candidate is not uh, what we were expecting, that's why I came in. That I'm coming to rescue the people from wherever our honorable Baba Jama here is taking us to. So I am ready. And the good people of our constituency, I am promising them that okay. all hope is not lost. Okay. I am there to help them and bring the developmental project to the constituency. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I can I, can I, let, me, let me use my two or three minutes to say some few things that but, I have done. No, but Baba, Baba Jamal, you will, you will you wrap up. You can wrap okay. up with that. Yeah. But one of the things that a lot of people saw is the destruction of water bodies and, you know, illegal mining. Uh, some say, well, if it's illegal, what is the people who are powerful who are behind it? That has this come to you? Then? No, it doesn't come from our constituency. Most of the body, where well, the uh, water bodies that are uh, uh, polluted, come from other constituencies, okay. like the Chibi area, uh, Koko, all those places. Because all the uh, the rivers that come to Akutia flow from there. You are talking about Brim, which is the main river, sure. Mo, and all these things. So with all those things, there, the pollution doesn't come from Akutia. Okay. So no, that way you can't put the blame on Akutia people. Okay. even though they may be also working in those areas. Okay. So we don't have much control over that. Okay. Is that, that we are suffering the destruction that we, we have. But, but, um, what, but you, so you, can, you, cannot, you, will not be able, you cannot help them? Is that what you're saying? No, no, no what I'm saying because is that we, 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 we are suffering, and what I can do, because we, I cannot go to that district or that concern because I don't have that power. But I can only bring it to the fore, which has been doing everywhere. And I've always informed the Minister of... Uh, uh, mines and energy have always uh, brought that pollution to, uh, to, the, to the fore. So it's something I have been doing. But you see, when it comes to the physically stopping that thing, I may it's be, impossible. Uh, it's impossible for me to do that. How about you, Stephen? Mm -hmm. The water bodies. Okay. 
if I'm given the nod as an MP, sure. in consultation with mines, uh, commission, sure. and environmental protection agencies, sure. we will make sure that we will go terms with the miners. Okay. So that we will tell them after they have finished again their diamond from them, all the, uh, the pits must be covered. And also we will tell them that they should not produce, they should find a way to do their uh, work without polluting the water. Okay. And please, I want to ask my honorable Baba Jama a question. Well, go ahead. Yes, okay. This is your two minutes. Use it well. He's now a deputy minister of employment. Yeah. The only company, as I've been saying, GCD, GCD. has collapsed yeah. under his government. And the only uh, football team Baba Jama was having at the Kwetia Kwetia has also nowhere to be found. So I'm asking, where is the team? And where is, wh what are, is he going to do for the GCD? Because mm -hmm. the foot yeah, actually. Is he, is he, the is football he, team. Okay. okay. Is, no, with the, the, with, the, with, the, with the company, I've already yes, answered that question. Yes, but yes. with the football team, you are aware that the team which used to be a coast team has moved from coast to third division and now is in second division. Why, 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 what is the name of that team? United. Is it there? It, it, oh, honorable, it, please. Oh, my brother. Madam, hold on, hold please. on, please. You have asked me a question. Let me answer. We are talking to the people of Agudia. If I'm lying, they are listening to yeah. us. Denchembo United used to be called Frankfurt Academy. Okay. When the Denchembo district was created, we decided to change the name from Frankfurt Academy to Denchembo United. Okay. And Denchembo United started from coast, now through third division. It is in second division, playing the league in, in, in eastern region. So how can you come and say that, where is the team? If you don't have the team. Now, in any case, when you look at the football field that I wanted to reconstruct, I started reconstructing the whole stadium. And that stadium belonged to GCD. Okay. Right. When they came, when GCD took over, they stopped me and said that it is part of their property, and so they are going to ensure that that uh, 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 stadium is built. As I talk to you now, they still not built it because they are not functioning well. So if you come and ask me about them, Jamal United, from here, I can even open the website. I'll try and open the website here and see whether John Jabo United is not working. Okay, or it's right. not, it's are you, not are you convinced? Uh, no. You're, you're not convinced. Yes. All right. um, what do you understand by all-inclusive government? And as an MP, how would you implement all-inclusive government? All inclusive. Thank you, madam. You see, uh, our party policy, as yeah. you have been saying, sure. you say we have all-inclusive government. Sure. When the people of Ghana give our press, the, our candidate, um, Dr. Dr. Indu, what we are going to do is that we will welcome everybody. Okay. We will take uh, ideas, not from only the ministers or whatever we are going to choose. Sure. Anybody. If you think that you are an NDC and you have a good intention for the country, we will include you. So as for that one, rest assured. So I am asking you, especially you, to yes. vote for us okay. so that <laughs> PPP, Dr. Indum will I'm be a, I admire Dr. Indum. So. Yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Also, um, the Baba Jama for you as well. What do you... What, when you come to Akwetia, I, I, uh, I operate an open door policy. I am the only candidate in the whole of Eastern Region who has a functioning member of parliament office, fully furnished, where people can go with their grievances and I resolve them. I am... In fact, as I said, I am not going to mention national projects. National projects, maybe you will say that national project, like the water, $167 million project is happening in Nagotia now. His chiefs have even appealed to me to include Wenji, which we are considering. Uh, when you're uh, talking uh, about uh, secondary uh, about, about what? The, the water project from Oda through Wenji, when I came there for the campaign, they, they, they put it on the floor. Now, two. Two secondary schools, one government, one district initiated. The government one. And you see, like we were talking about evidence. I brought my, my, my phone, my, I have my phone here, where I have the evidence. Anything I mention, you can go through, you can be rolling this in and see what I, I tell you. All the pictures are here. I am the only MP who has been able to con conduct spelling bee for the whole schools to improve education. I've built schools with my common fund. And my other funds from outside. Okay. I have built schools, not a school. I have built roads. There are places that have no access to road. Bridges, culverts. I have built nine culverts across the constituency. I have chief centers 
Abu Abu, I have brought electricity through my own initiative, not government initiative. My own initiative because I lobby from organizations and companies. You understand? His own town, as he was talking that, look, his secondary school, I was the cause of getting them a, right. a bus, a school Thank bus. You. No, please, let me uh, emphasize it. A school bus, and beside that, when they were building their dormitory, I donated money and even uh, materials right. to their Thank school. You. When, when was that? Thank when you. was Thank that? When you, you accepted your uh, uh, price and... Uh, speech and uh, price uh, giving uh, day. Speech and price giving day. You gave I us was what? there. I gave you 10 million cities. Okay. Um, go and ask. Steven, Steven. Why? All right. <laughs> now we're wrapping up the show, okay. right? I'll still give you an opportunity to look into the camera. You can speak in your local dialect or you can speak in English. Just to wrap up uh, the, the segment on why you think that at this moment uh, you're ripe, you have the, uh, the, the competencies, you have the people at heart, and why they should vote for you. So any, in anything, anything you okay. want to say, two minutes, you can do that, yes. To the group people of Akwetia If you want to rebut out to you can rebut No problem. Right, yeah, thank you. Can I use the local... Oh, sure, sure. Okay, you yeah. can do that. Yes, please. Akwetia Mai. Nyedi Kain. Nye ni ayen hunye si wa hasi si e. E tuwa ke si ayen minister. I was saying MPAD. Mi jabi biya mamu. Se. Ye pesi ye kwa swa tina ti biya ye womu ya. Ye mkwa tun tuwa ba ema womu. Omo ni bibia makwati ya constituency both NDC and MPP. The omo wama yani so omo jaye di boni flashpoint. Flashpoint. Me be such a such flashpoint. Where was that flashpoint? Do it, was it there during 1992? The answer is no. Was it there during uh, this month's period? Uh, Siam no. The akwati got the name flashpoint when we started voting for corrupt, uh, incompetent, and disappointed member of parliament, including Honor Baba Jamahe. So I am asking you. Never ever let them deceive you because all what they have for us is to give us a bad name. So if you want to see more developmental projects in the constituency, vote for Dr. Papa Kwesindum as president and vote for Honorable Stephen Ofori, a.k.a. Akate, the versatile man, so that <laughs> more developmental projects will be in the constituency. Akate. Akate. Stephen Ofori, Honorable Stephen Ofori, thank, thank you, you very much. Baba Jama, you can start calling me on because team. I know Honorable Baba Jama has started writing his handing over notes, but from here he's going <laughs> to you. tell me. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, right. Honorable Baba Jama, yes. I'm going to ask you for Yeah. I'm going to ask you for a moment. 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 When she mind they be a me bahwa, mo jimmy fefeso, emi wan wan se minu yebe babeka se mo, mo pam me krefi wenchi. Me ba fashe, ma ba fashe wom prenu. Me ma be mi wia mini na nanu mina na nante kofi. Inti da bayi na wenchi fo, e pam me. Wenchi en hun uje kran, wenchi en hun loro kwan, en hun stos e wo wenchi. E niyama ya yama nkroi yina anon, niyama kachira mo nese, mi diye, me ba be sumye. Me NDC need here, but any NDC na me join home, any MPP na me join home. Me join then Chambu district at home. Send your boy, send your machine. Mo mo bono say in ten years, no. Your person here no minion super. No, or or my no be friend into my be friend. Any na meka. I want to assure you that Baba Jamal will continue to do what he has promised you. I have never disappointed you as you are all aware. You know what is happening in Nigeria for the first time. The sort of thing that is happening. I will never disappoint you. Please, give me the second term, and I will take you to greater heights. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. A very big thank you to you. Baba Jamal is the current member of parliament for Akwetia and deputy minister for employment and labor relations, and also Honorable Stephen Ofori, the standing, a teacher standing on the ticket of the Progressive Akati, Akati. People's Akati. Party, a.k.a. Akati. Akati. So I should add that, a.k.a. Akati. Thank you both for joining. You have to shake hands. That's how we end the oh, show. Of course, of course, yes, of uh, thank you very of much for coming and debating <laughs> ideas. Like we keep saying, it's a battle of ideas.